Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we're gonna ask, we're gonna talk about one of the most asked questions on my channel, and that is, how do I put up my shade cloth and how, what do I do about it? So my garden is reaching temperatures of a 100 degrees plus, I think it's gonna be 101 today. Um, my night times are still a little bit cooler, so we're gonna talk about which ones I'm for sure getting ready to cover and which ones I'm just gonna kind of let nature take its course because some of the ones next to them, the sun really, really needs to help those to boost their, their growth. So let's just talk about all of it and it's hot out here, but let's put up the shade cloth. Okay guys, so first off, if you hear watering, it's because I'm watering my garden and I'm doing that thing that I tell you guys not to do, which is water in the middle of the day. It's about noon and it's pretty hot out right now. Now, to hold down my shade cloth and how to put up my shade cloth, there are a bunch of different things that I use. One, I use the stakes when I'm doing anything with my hoop house. I use the stakes to hold it down. Um, I use thumbtacks when I am putting them on my actual wood structure. And then I use little binder clips when I'm attaching them to my S hooks or anything like that. Anything that you can use to tack down your shade cloth, don't be afraid, just use it. So I'm gonna go through a couple different structures where I put up my shade cloth so that then you guys can see how I put that together. So let's go out to the garden and put up a ton of shade cloth everywhere. So since my garden changes every year, the first thing I do is I lay out all my shade cloth and see what can go where. So we're gonna start here with this hoop house. We're gonna start here with my hoop house. Now I have showed you guys this hoop house before. I got it on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. It can be used for winter or for the summer. Now. I see that the beans here are kind of burning up a little bit. They're not doing as great because they're getting more of the direct sun. Now there's nothing I'm gonna really be able to do once it goes over top. I'm gonna to try, but I mean, it's not that much that I'm gonna be able to do. But I do wanna provide some shade for just these melons, but mainly the onions. I'm trying to get the onions to go through and make bigger bulbs. The melons probably would be just fine. If this one had a little bit more water to it, it would be okay. But for right now, we wanna get the onions together. So all I did is I have my hoop house. I wanna make sure that it is straight here. And then I'm going to use the stakes to tack it down. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm not using the hoop house and what it's intended for, which is to keep bugs out. I'm using it as a shade cloth. So I need to be able to provide shade for all of this in here in this bed, but also the things in front of it too, if I wanted to put some more things like this rosemary. So what I did is I moved some things over here, like one of these, I don't need both of those over here. So I moved one of them over here and then I use these little things that are my Dollar Tree um, little tomato cages. I put one of these that I got from the uh, Target <laughs> and then I put them in even spots so that then I can provide more shade and I have the height of it. If it's like a windstorm or something like that, then I can just clip it here and use a binder clip to clip it here. Right now it's perfectly fine, it's not that windy. And then also it makes it easy to water because so I can just water underneath here or if it's getting ready to rain, that's what I have my hooks back there for. I can just hook it to the back. So guys, a lot of this is just gonna be using what we have in the garden. I put a lot of different heights and different things in my garden that's going to help me be able to hold my shade cloth because I know that during the summer it's gonna be super hot and I'm gonna need something to help me kind of hold that up. So when I'm planning out what I'm using, different tomato cages, different all these different things, I'm looking for things that's gonna help me provide that height to be able to cover the most of the area. So now let's look at something that my wonderful husband, Mr. Benson built. Many people have asked me, what is this structure? Why do you have this big wooden thing in your garden? And it is to hold shade cloth, guys. My husband built it just for that reason. And all I have to do is just thumbtack it. As you can see, there's always thumbtacks in it. Just push it down and thumbtack it on there. 
Now, I do have some natural things that are going to provide shade, which is also why I have these arches. So I can grow things like my okra and it can reduce the amount of insects and bugs that are attracted to it because I can provide it with some shade. So yes, okra loves full sun. If you're anywhere else in the world, you probably don't even need shade. But in Arizona, full sun means like 115. <laughs> so we want to provide it with a little bit of shade. Now there's things like this, this area right here, where I really don't want to put up my shade cloth. One, my entire tomato plant, which is pulling on my my cage here so I'm gonna want to get some um, zip ties um, that is providing a lot of shade for this area as you can see these onions are starting to get shaded out by that and then there's things like this my Armenian cucumber that doesn't even need shade it actually is going to be the shade cloth so depending on what I have in this area I'm going to put something up here it normally I have squash here there are no tomatoes so I put the shade cloth on here. Right now I have a big giant tomato that is just providing for that for the time being. All right guys, it's getting hot out here. So I just wanted to show you guys what I did here. Now here I just use my S hooks. I got these at the Dollar Tree and that's why I have these right here. So I just hooked them right there and then I can also put a clip right on that trellis because usually I grow something that doesn't go to the top of that trellis. And then I just move my pots around so that my squash have a little bit of shade. And I just put a one here um, for the tomato. And then the other one is the pepper right here. Now this area is going to get shaded by the umbrella too. The sun is going to move in this area a lot, but right now we're not there yet. So we're just not gonna worry about that. And we're gonna cover what we need to cover. And just so you guys could see what it looked like out here, with this shade cloth up, it covers this area. And as you can see, it's letting in the light that the okra still needs, but it's not letting the okra feel like it's gonna burn up. Now, as you notice, this is not even wilting because it can take the sun, that's the pumpkin. And then the same thing over here, it needs the sun. So we are going to try not to shade this as much as possible. This is my Armenian cucumber. See the difference between that one growing and that one growing that gets less sun, but they are, were planted at the same exact time. All right guys, so it's now blazing hot and I don't want heat stroke. So I'm gonna now just leave these structures up here and the one I have out there and then the one over here and then the rest I'll just put up tomorrow so the other thing that I'm doing like I said is I'm focusing on plants that really enjoy this heat so that then I'm able to not have to really worry so much about the shade cloth blowing or being up or just naturally having things that need it there are my things that are going to be over summered as I like to call it because it's not winter that I want to make sure that they get enough attention so like my peppers and my tomatoes my tomatoes probably are going to be coming out but my peppers for sure and my eggplant this eggy is almost five years old guys and it's because I give her some shade during the summer and don't let her burn up and die <laughs> so I have my shade cloth up it's going to help produce a lot more healthier plants and a garden that's not covered in white flies guys in the summer we get white flies because our plants are stressed because they're hot and all of the other little things that they can get so I hope that this video was helpful for you guys to give you guys some examples of what I do and maybe it's something that you guys can do too but until next time grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food bye guys